back to the channel. I am so excited to have you on this morning. Today I'm going to be instructing you on how to play Christmas Time Is Here chord melody. This is a beautiful song. It's so much fun to play and it's definitely a bit challenging, but once you have accomplished that challenge, there's it's like so rewarding to play this song. It feels so good in my hands. If you don't know me, my name is Gabriel. I run this YouTube channel. I'm a professional musician in the Los Angeles area. I play drums, bass, guitar, I produce, and I also video edit. So if you need any of those services, the best place to contact me is on my Instagram, which my handle is Gabriel Pie Feldman on Instagram. So feel free to contact me there. Awesome. So let's drive right into this song. First things first, we're in the key of F major, right? That's the key that we're choosing to play this song in. My first chord of this song is going to be F major. Now we have all kinds of options we could play all over the guitar, but the shape I'm going to use in order to play the melody is going to be this one. All right, so we have this shape, and we use our pinky to play right here. We've got. So those are our three notes we're playing over this F major 7 shape. This chord is called E flat 7 flat 5. This is a dominant chord with the 5th being lowered a half step. So this shape is very common on guitar. The chord isn't super common in music, but whenever you need this chord, this is the shape you're going to go for. It's very, very comfortable in the hands. Then that part repeats. Awesome. Now we're going to have our three melody notes. So this is the B string 6th fret, the B string 8th fret, and the B string Oh, sorry, the E string, 5th fret. We've got... Then we're going to hop into our B half diminished voicing. Alright, this looks like this. Then we've got... The B string, 5th fret, going to... So what this basically is that I'm playing is it's kind of like an A minor 7 if you know how to... It's exactly the chord that is happening there. But what I'm doing is I'm leaving off the root because my bass player is going to handle that, who's also me. <laughs> and uh, I'm putting my pinky right here on the B string 8th fret to play the melody. Then we walk it down. Do the same thing off the 3rd and 6th fret. the top five strings on C. So we've got the third fret from the A string to the high E string completely barred. And this is going to be like C7 sus4. So that's the A section. I'm going to repeat that A section one more time very slowly uh, so you can watch my fingers and watch it go by on the page. Awesome. So after you've played that section twice, we're going to go on to the B section. So the B section is going to have some similar shapes and some new ones. So the similar shape that the B section have is right, has is right at the beginning. So first off, we're going to have a D flat major 7. So we're going to play this in the same way we played our F major 7. Just now we're going to be on the 6th fret. It's going to be that exact same shape we just played. Flat seven sharp eleven. That was 
very pretty. I'm playing this by barring my index finger. I have two notes barred with my index finger. Alright, so we've got... Alright, and that repeats twice as well. Then we're going to go on. We have an, our A minor 7, so we're going to voice that like this. So I'm just... Like A, the root would be here. This would be my A minor chord that I'd be voicing, but instead I'm gonna leave off the root because the bass player is gonna cover that. I'm gonna go and hit this. All right. You gotta remember where the root changes though, so you go. So we gotta catch that D when it happens. We've got. So we have basically the same thing there on G. You gotta kind of adhere to that melody and hear that. And then we're gonna have our C13. So this is a great dominant 13 shape. And then we're going to repeat that and come back to our fourth or third and final A. And in the intro, you heard me play that third A, the last A, a little bit more crazy than the first two. And that's because it is the third one. You've already heard it twice before. So it's nice to add a little bit of accentuation. So something really easy to do is if you're on over this F, uh, uh, F major seven shape. If you know your pentatonic scale, you can go ahead and apply that. Right onto that. And if you can play your major scale, that's on top of it, it'll sound even sweeter. awesome huh and then play through the rest awesome so with that that is going to conclude our video I hope that you can understand that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play the intro clip one more time here at the end so you can watch that a little bit more closely now that you've seen the instruction part of this video. Um, so that's gonna be it. I really hope that you can learn this song. I know it's a bit challenging, but if you sit down and you really apply yourself, I know that you can, you can accomplish this. You can do it. Awesome, so I can't wait to see you in the next video and I hope that you have a great, great, great day. All right, bye-bye now. See you in the next one. Thank you.